Hi, I'm Matt, and this is a comparison of the Strymon Blue Sky, which has been my reverb for the past some years now, three or four, against the New Neighbor Immerse, which is the only other reverb I like. I'm kind of exaggerating there, but not really. The Strymon has been my, like, just my home reverb for the longest time, but this New Neighbor is really great, and I've been meaning to compare them directly against one another for a while now, ever since I had both of them. One thing to note before I dive into this, this is the Immerse Mark I, which means it can't go full wet. So the knob positions of like the effects level are not gonna make any sense relative to one another because the Strymon can go all the way to just reverb, no dry signal, and the uh, new neighbor can't do that. The, their new Immerse Mark II can do that, but that's not the one I have here. So that is one thing, and then one of the reasons I'm interested in checking out the Immerse is the Strymon has a modulated mode and it has a shimmer mode, but there's no control over those factors. The modulation and the shimmer just kind of are the volume that they are, whereas the new neighbor has a shimmer and a modulation and you can dial them in and out. So that's something I want to look into here too. This is my Fender JA90 into a diamond compressor. I've got my Timmy on for just like a little bit of, not even really drive, EQ shaping for the most part. And then the reverbs, and then back into the Strymon Iridium by way of an amp. So that's my dry signal. And I'm just going to dive in. Each of these reverbs has different settings, different knobs available. None of this stuff's going to be very scientific, but I'm just going to kind of try stuff out and see what happens. So something the the new neighbor is kind of known for is its ability to stay out of the way of your dry signal, which it is definitely doing perhaps to its detriment right now because I, right in my in-ears, I can barely even hear it. Like while I'm playing, it's... Incredibly subtle. But if I stop playing, it's got this beautiful kind of wash that rings out. blue sky a little bit less subtle, like easier to, to hear in a mix. Thank you. 
that wash that's ringing out sounds cinematic AF right now. <laughs> I think I accidentally set the decay in such a way that it's never decaying and I'm, I'm here for it. I'm not going to lie. It sounds great. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do. Eternal decay on the blue sky sounds like. I have the reverbs in front of the amp. I think it's starting to clip the iridium. They both sound pretty cool. I think the Immerse sounds lovelier in that particular configuration, but I can't get the effects level high enough for it to not still be kind of subtly behind me, which is sometimes what I want and sometimes not what I want. So let's see, the three modes that the Blue Sky has are normal, modulation, and shimmer. So let's kind of go in that order. That was normal. This will be modulated. <laughs> And then for the uh, Immerse, I'm going to leave it in the wet engine, but I'm going to dial in more modulation to, so I can hear how they stack up. Pretty different. I do really like having an actual knob to adjust the amount of modulation. That's a really overlooked feature on the blue sky. <laughs> it kind of needs that because this sounds nice. But that's a lot of modulation and there's no way to, to make there be less of it. So right there they sound pretty close with the with the immerse on its maximum amount of modulation just about but but I can turn it down on this one And then the third mode on the Strymon is the uh, shimmer which I don't use much because, again, there is too much of it and you can't dial it out. So here it is. That's, that's too much shimmer, Strymon. I, Strymon, I love you, but that is too, too much shimmer. There needs to be a way to lower that. Let's see how the Immerse sounds. It's 
a little bit less obnoxious. Let's try lowering it. It's also probable that I just maybe don't like Shimmer very much, but having the ability to dial in less of the, the high octave does help. I it's too it's too much I don't, I don't I don't find the shimmer mode on the blue sky very usable <laughs> so I'm gonna kick it back up to normal here and then the type switch has plate room and spring so let's check those out this is the plate <laughs> After plate, it's got room. So I'll go with Hall over here on the Immerse. I don't think it has a room as such. while I'm playing. It's like 
I like it, but I, I wonder if I would hear it if any other instruments were playing. <laughs> anyway, the other mode on the blue sky is spring. <laughs> spring. That's, that's spring, I guess. I'm going to put this back up to kind of my favorite mode for each. Concluding remarks, these both sound lovely. I just really wanted to hear them next to each other. I would love to get my hands on an Immerse Mark II. I feel really limited by this effects level, only going as high as it does. Anyway, hope that was interesting or helpful or at least kind of chill. Thanks. <laughs>